And welcome back to Let's Play Alpha Protocol with me, Sloth and Sergeant. Guess what we can do now? Firstly, let's check our email because we haven't done so yet. Wow, we have to go through our email. Run my thorn to yourself. Let's see. Now we can choose who we want to send it to. And there's all sorts of ones. So let's go on ahead and put it up on the black market. Archive that. And, alright, so they know about the missiles. There's something here. We got dossier info on Leland. Forgot to archive that one. And that one. Westridge is trying to find us. And Ooh, dossier information on Marbird. Well, let's take a look at the clearinghouse, so we can buy stuff now. We really don't need a new pistol, to be honest. We, the one we got right now is pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to even up our first aid kits. Straw on down. That's pretty expensive. I don't think we'll be getting that anytime soon. More endurance is always nice. But it's not quite the armor I want. The armor I want's ridiculous. And we won't be seeing it until much later anyway, so. Uh, okay, we need to get some stuff. We need. Ooh, ammo carrying capacity, that's fine. We're using martial arts anyway. Damage reduction and sound dampening, also nice. That should be good. And we want both of these. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on ahead and start this mission. Oh wait, oh no, we're not gonna start the mission yet. <laughs> we need to use those, uh, yeah, armor mods. We won't be using them for this mission, but hey. Come on now. There we go. Now, we can't carry as much ammo, but now we have a lot more endurance, which is always nice. Which means, oh, come on now. Which means basically we've got shields that are much better for us. Alright, so we need to identify Jabril Alvara. We got two things we've been told. I know one of them was the dossier, and the other one allows us to identify subjects faster. You in place? Yep. Got a good view of the estate where this meeting is supposed to take place. What now? Alvara's our target. He's supposed to be here tonight. I'm no, glad I brought this right. But what's the deal with the skull? It can transmit images to me in real time. Aim at someone, and I'll run their picture through the database. See if we get a match. The longer you focus on a target, the quicker I can make an ID. The ID is all I need. And all right then. I just need to hover over people. Unfortunately, these things are really sensitive. That's why I kind of don't like sniper rifles. They're kind of. Made a name yeah. for himself last year with a controversial exhibit in Paris. Some local juvenile offenses, but otherwise he's clean. Not our target. All right. Come on now. Alright, basically what I was saying is this thing is really sensitive so it's kind of hard to move around. But we'll get it done. And 
This mission is easy experience, so we'll get this done. Shouldn't take too long. In position. Oh, hello, beautiful. What are you doing? Well, she's a little underdressed. Definitely a cold night from the looks of it. All right, Mike. Yeah. Anyway. We can catch the news later. <laughs> Whoops. That is a nice touch that you can stand the TV. Did it eventually? Hold on. There we go. Forces. Not our man, but definitely a professional. He planned and led the assault that took back the hijacked British jet last year. I remember reading about that. Should I get an autograph? For you? No, I work for the infamous Mike Thornton. Compared to you, he's small time. Oh, isn't that sweet? happen to know where Mr. Albara is. Or at least unless he changes positions, I don't think he does. We'll scan other people. Or at least try to. There you are. Choose to either abort the mission or lead, or shoot him, but quite frankly, none of this ma uh, yeah, none of this really adds up. And also, my well, I hope I'm right too. Well, let's see. Do any negative effects? Indicated ties to Al Samad, but Agent Thornton chose to eliminate him despite his former alliance with Shahid. Now we have a message concerning Halbeck. It's important, so I'm gonna show it to you. Because that mission was trying to shorten. What's that beeping noise? Yeah, we gotta check the email, otherwise it doesn't stop. So, so let's check our email, shall we? Email who messages? Oh, but first, let's reply to Scarlet. Scarlet likes flirtatious responses. But not every flirtatious response will get you a positive or negative thing. Five thousand dollars. Someone ran some stuff through Halbach, and someone 
unknown. Let's just do meet them at Cafe Triumph. We'll be forthcoming. It's not that hard to be nice. All you gotta do is be nice. It's not that hard. <laughs> Can't really explain it. It's just you got you don't always have to be nice, but you can. You don't have to play a dick. Anyway, so who is the Halbed informant? We have no information, and there is no information on the store, so. Alright. Time for a really important conversation. No sign of our mysterious Halbed contact yet. Switch off your transmitter. If you reach for your gun, one of my men will put a bullet in your skull. Transmitter's off. I don't plan on reaching for my gun unless you make it necessary. Once I have the information I need, I plan to leave. You will not be harmed. You've made an effort to broadcast your arrival in Rome. Why? You're the why. I was hoping if I stomped around enough, you'd come out of whatever hole you were hiding in. I would have expected a rogue agent would be more cautious. Why bother? Corporate tools like yourself can always be baited into showing themselves. It's a rookie move. So, what, now you're gonna threaten me? Go ahead, this should be worth a laugh. You aren't here in an official capacity. You are operating under Alpha Protocol. Interesting. Considering the program secret, I would have expected you to say traitor, unless you have insider knowledge. If you think you're the first to be abandoned by your government, you would be wrong. You are Michael Thornton. Straight out of Langley. Perhaps they felt the untouchables approach would benefit them. I'm an operative now. After Saudi, I had to change my five-year plan. I'm guessing you're here to confirm the file you have on me. Anything else you need to check? Reports place you as someone loyal to your country, and who believes in carrying their missions through. Is that so odd? In today's day and age, yes. But not to me. So you know a great deal about me, and I know who you are. You're Leyland's right-hand man, his lackey, Toby, henchman. And you wear those gloves to keep the blood off your hands. I read your dossier. You've lived a full life. Kuwait, South Africa, that oil refinery explosion in Moscow. It's like a concert tour with you. Considering how public your actions have been in Rome, especially that debacle at the Echelon listening post, I think you're hardly in a place to lecture me. In less than a day's time, you have already managed to cause me considerable inconvenience. Now, tell me what you're doing here. I was tracking down a lead, and it looks like I found it. I see. So you thought all you had to do was wait and we would speak. Interesting. What I don't understand, though, is why we're talking at all. Unless keeping me alive is important for some reason. I have orders, and I am a cautious person. So this is a social call, warning me away? That's polite of you. I believe you have nowhere to go for help. In that situation, it is a rare man who goes to his enemy's door. So, yes, this is a social call. A warning. You have proven yourself capable, but pursuing this course of action will not serve you any longer. Go underground, hide, but stay out of our way. Or else what? people you care about will start to die. We know you've been in contact with one of your fellow agents. That contact will die if you persist, and then we will kill you. Those are your terms. Allow you to carry out your mission, and I stay out of the way. Yes. You realize I would be betraying my country. Yes, 
And that does not change my terms. I understand your feelings, and I encourage you to set them aside. So we're done here. I leave Rome, leave you to your plan, and that's it. Yes. What you do next is up to you, but there are only two immediate choices. Leave, you live. Stay, you die. You don't seem like the corporate stooge type. In fact, you seem like someone who doesn't take orders at all, especially from someone like Leyland. Are you questioning my loyalty? I am, but not in the way you think. I've read your dossier. From where I'm standing, it doesn't seem like Halbeck's any better than the governments that you've served with. In fact, they're like a government unto themselves, and if you think for a second that they give a rat's ass about their employees, then you're twice the fool. Do you seriously think they wouldn't leave you out to dry if they had to? Your attention to detail and history borders on obsessive. You may live through this after all. Leave Rome. If we see each other again, it will be the last time. Okay, so that was more bird. Stare at your eye, huh? You weren't hard to find in Rome, you know. The reports of what happened in that gelato shop. The shooting outside of Rome. That poor professor. Taking that bullet like that. Finding you was easy. I wanted you to of find Of course you did. And that's when you and Mr. Marburg met up and had lunch. Well, we talked. He had a lot to say about Halbeck and some suggestions about my involvement with your corporation. Really? I can rarely get three words from a man. Feel free to have him threaten you whenever you get tired of listening to yourself. I'd be curious to hear more and your first impression of Mr. Marburg. What did you discuss? We discussed business. Turns out both of us have experience with abuse of authority. He described you as a man of your word. Patriotic, I believe, also came into the conversation. But Mr. Marburg was not always the best judge of character. Nor does he instill much loyalty in employees. Speaking of which, this woman entered the picture not long after your meeting with Marburg. She was in our office in Rome. Madison, I believe. Yes. I always wondered, did you ever regret getting her into this? It wasn't my choice. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. In the end, it was. Now, Terry. So... We've done a lot. And I realize we've made a couple mistakes. But, hey. My mistakes happen. I have a problem. The VCI employee I mentioned before, Madison, I think she's going to act. What do you mean, now? She's calling the operator and asking for you by name. She can't be working for Marburg, unless this is a trap. Who is she calling? The city directory. And maybe the police next. If she does... Can you intercept the call? Redirect it? What? Why? Did you see her picture? No way am I missing out on that action. Nice. <laughs> okay, let me patch her through. Operator? Miss St. James? Uh, hello? Yes, is this the operator? No, Miss St. James, this is Michael Thornton. Oh, thank God. Mr. Thornton, please, you have to listen to me. I don't believe we've met before. How do you know my name and why are you calling? I have reason to believe your life is in danger. I know it sounds crazy, but... You don't say. I don't want to discuss the details over the phone. This line may be tapped. She is a sharp one. But it's important I speak to you immediately. Is there some place we can meet? Of course. I'll send you the address of a local restaurant. All right. I still have to hail a cab. I'll have one sent to your cross streets. Oh. Okay. I'll see you soon, Miss St. James. Awesome. Alright, so...
go ahead and pump those points into chain shot. And next we'll focus on either toughness or martial arts. Either way, it's four points each. Alright, so let's save our changes. That really should be it for now. So next time on Let's Play Alpha Protocol, we go see Madison.